People and pets aren't the only ones at risk from the intense cold coming our way. It can also damage property, especially things like pipes. So tonight we have some tips on what you can do to make sure your home is ready for the cold snap. Meteorologist Pete Mangione is live in the Pinpoint Weather Yard with what you need to know. It's not a pleasant sound, but it could be a life-saving one. Put the batteries in and it'll give you a beep. Yep. And then you wait a few seconds and you'll get another beep. And that means it's working. Larry Gemma of Gem Plumbing and Heating says a working carbon monoxide detector with fresh batteries should be first on the priority list. And with heaters and boilers running high this weekend, proper ventilation is also critical. That when the snow backs up against the house or you get wind drifts, a very windy day, and you have to clear the vents on your boilers or your heating equipment. To prevent pipes from bursting, letting water trickle from the faucet is a great first step. Outside faucets should also be turned off for the winter. As for the heat, Gemma recommends leaving it on at all times during the cold blast. Turn your heat up, open your cabinets underneath your sinks, your outside walls where your uh, lavatories and your sinks are. If you have a thermostat with a setback function, he says pressing hold with a temperature in the upper 60s will put your home in an ideal climate. But should a home emergency pop up, the call center will be working overtime. We are normally, we're staffed 24-7, but we made sure that we have extra staff coming in over the weekend to help answer the phones. And if you want more tips on protecting your home during the cold, we've linked that information to our website at WPRI.com. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.